Firefighters are used to risking their lives to save ours, but when something just didn't feel right after putting out a fire, one Cleveland man quickly learned his life would depend on the system he uses every day to save others. It was just a pain that I've never felt before, and I just knew there was something not right about it. At that moment, Brady was actually suffering from the number one killer of firefighters nationwide. He was having a heart attack. A 17-year veteran of the Wichita Fire Department recovering after suffering a heart attack while responding to a house fire, partially fell through a floor and then suffered a heart attack. He was rushed to Via Christi St. Francis. The FDNY is mourning the loss of one of its own. Black Bunting hangs outside Squad Company 41 in the Bronx after he responded to a kitchen fire in a Bronx apartment during a 24-hour tour of duty that ended earlier that day. Honoring a fallen firefighter, Detroit Fire Department paying tribute to a 20-year veteran who died while on duty. The entire city mourns this fallen firefighter. Eric Jones says he fought two commercial fires today with the 20 year veteran. Friends and family continue to mourn the death of a volunteer firefighter from Johnston County. The veteran of the fire department returned to his quarters at station three. He told his colleagues he didn't feel well. They immediately began treatment. The physical and mental demands of a firefighter place major stress on our minds and body, and especially our heart. Far too many of our brothers and sisters in the fire and emergency service are lost each year due to cardiac arrest. In fact, statistics show that those of us active in this profession are much more susceptible to cardiac arrest than the general population. Too often, ignoring the warning signs is a fatal decision. Your body will definitely be signaling to you that something is wrong, a feeling that you have never had before. If you don't feel well, don't make it your farewell. Seek medical attention immediately. If someone under your command or in your unit is not feeling well, don't send them home. Don't send them to the bunk hall. Insist they get checked immediately. Let's change the culture in our profession, in our departments, of ignoring the warning signs our bodies are telling us. Visit IAFC.org to learn how.